In this video, Function Generator AD9833 is programmed using Microcontroller 80 Mega 8. Assembly code is used to demonstrate the programming of AD9833 via the SPI protocol. The AD9833 is a digital function generator with the following specs Programmable frequency and phase. Output frequency range from 0 to 12.5 MHz, a resolution of 28 bits, as low as 0.1 Hz frequency increment at 25 MHz reference clock which is on board the module. It can give us an output, sine, triangle, or square wave, and it is interfaced with a microcontroller using 3-wire SPI connection. A block diagram of the AD9833 is shown here. The programmable registers of the AD9833 are control register which determine the specifications of the device and the type of uh, waveform at the output. We also have two frequency registers, register 0 and 1, which are 28-bit registers. And we have phase shift register 0 and phase shift register 1, 12-bit registers which uh, add the amount of phase shift to the generated waveform. We program the frequency register with a 28-bit value to represent a, a waveform with a certain frequency. The output of the frequency register is then fed into the 28-bit phase accumulator that will generate for us uh, the points needed to cover one cycle of the waveform from 0 to 2 pi. The output of the phase accumulator with the added phase shift is then fed into a sine ROM to generate a sinusoidal waveform. If this ROM is skipped, then we have a triangular waveform. The digital version of the waveform being a sinusoid or a triangular waveform is then fed into this 10-bit digital to analog converter which is then applied to the output uh, pin. If the 10-bit DAC is bypassed then we get a square wave which is fed to the output pin. The control register of the AD9833 is a 16-bit register and let's have a look at the bits that can be programmed. This bit here B28 when set will enable the 28-bit word to be loaded into the frequency register in two consecutive writes. This bit here, fSelect, will determine whether we are writing to frequency register 0 or frequency register 1. And pSelect will determine whether we are writing to phase 0 or phase 1. This bit here will reset the internal registers to zero. These three bits here will determine the type of waveform at the output based on this truth table here. We either have a sinusoid, a triangle, or a square wave at half frequency, or a square wave. As an example, if this control word is written into the control register of the device, then we are enabling the 28-bit word transfer and we are selecting frequency 0 register and we are resetting the internal registers. As mentioned earlier the frequency registers are 28 bits wide and the phase shift registers are 12 bits. To calculate the 28-bit frequency value for let's say frequency register 0 we use this formula where F out is the frequency of the output analog waveform and this frequency here is the master clock which is 25 megahertz and the 12 bit phase shift is given by this equation as an example let's say we want to generate a waveform at a frequency of 400 hertz and zero phase shift so we need to calculate the 28-bit value needs to be stored in frequency register 0 by using this formula and applying the values give us this hexy value here. 
Next, we need to store this 28-bit value inside the frequency register 0. And to do this, we need to create two 16-bit values. The first value is made of the least significant 14 bits of this number and then adding at the most significant side the value of 0, 1 which is the address of frequency register 0 and then the remaining 14 most significant bits are added here with the address to give us the second 16-bit number these tables summarize the frequency and phase register addresses this would be the address of frequency register 0 this is frequency register 1 this would be the address for phase register 0 and this would be for phase register 1 therefore to write this value into the frequency 0 register we need to send this 16-bit value first and then send the second 16-bit value next we program the phase shift register so that we have a waveform with a zero phase shift so phase shift register zero would have this 12-bit value which is all zeros so the 16-bit number that will be sent to the device is made of these four most significant bits which is the address of phase shift zero and the remaining 12 bits are the phase shift value itself this is a flowchart for generating 400 Hz waveform with zero phase shift. First, we initialize the device by writing this value into the control register. This will reset the device. Then we write into the control register this value here, which will reset the internal registers to zero and allow writes to frequency and phase shift registers. Then we write into the frequency register the uh, least significant 14 bits of the frequency value. Then we write into the frequency register the 14 most significant bits of the frequency value. Next we write this value into the phase register. This will give us a zero phase shift. And finally we write into the control register a value that will exit the reset and also give us the uh, selected output waveform. Now if we write this value we will get a sine wave, this value will give us a square wave and this value will give us a triangular waveform. This is a circuit diagram that shows the interface of the AD9A33 module with the 80 mega 8 microcontroller using SPI connection. We have from the module the serial data line is connected to the master out slave input line of the controller. The serial clock is connected to the serial clock of the controller and the F-Sync line from the module is connected to the slave select line of the controller. And the output from the module which gives us the analog waveform is connected to a scope. A quick look at the assembly code. First, we need to initialize the SPI part of the microcontroller by programming the control register and setting the SPI as master. And it's important that we put it in mode 2 by setting the clock polarity to 1. And this is as per requirements of the AD9833 datasheet. Next, we call the subroutine in order to program the AD9833 to give us the required waveform and we start uh, the programming by sending the first frame which is to initialize the AD9833 and we start the frame by putting the SS line low which will enable the AD9833 and then we send the high byte part of the reset value and then wait for the transmission to complete and then send the low byte value and then wait for the transmission to complete and then we end the frame by setting the SS line high to disable the AD9A33. After the transmission of the first frame we wait for 60 milliseconds and then we transmit the second frame which will 
program the control register with the reset equals to 1. First we enable the device and then we transmit the high byte part of the uh, value and then we send the low byte value and then we end the frame by disabling the AD9833. Next we send this uh, SPI frame which will copy the 14 least significant bits of the frequency value into the frequency register 0. And in this frame we send the 14 most significant bits of the frequency value to the frequency register 0. Next we send this frame which will program the phase shift register 0 in order to give us 0 phase shift. Finally we send this frame to program the control register with reset equals to 0 and we send this 16-bit uh, value to 0, 0, 0 which will give us a sine wave at the output of the module. On the scope we have a 400 Hz sinusoid. If we change the control word to 2002 we get a triangular waveform. Next we change the control word to 2028 to give us a square wave. The assembly code can be modified to allow waveform selection with variable frequency. But that's another video. Thank you for watching.